Hello there, General. So, we see here that an MRA... And we're the MRA movement has pretty much declined quite a bit, but nonetheless, we're still around. It seems. And an MRA... Mark Anglisi is... Well... He's gone. He's been blasted off this earth, and now he's gone. So... Hmm... It says here, the Lara was featured in the documentary The Red Pill, which was, I think, by Cassie J. So, yeah. Uh, this guy is gone, huh? That's a pitiful thing, isn't it? You know? But in a way, yes, uh, the movement is pretty much, you know, peter out at this point. So, these guys are just gonna, at this point, these guys are just gonna, just, uh, you know, fall one by one. Because I don't think they're really gonna get much recruiting anymore, unfortunately. I don't know, really, because they did fall for, fall for the same egalitarian dreams, and that's what messed them up, really. And now, well, now their freaking activists are getting shut down. So, California police are investigating uh, the, you know, the pew of a well-known activist in the so-called manager's so-called, so-called. And this is something that really interests me with the article, was, okay, how are you going to spin this? The so-called. No, that's 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 called the, the man rights movement. Yeah, th that's what it's called. Okay, so called that, like, so called like quote like you know like uh trying to to like to diss it effectively. It was fun, sh you know, peeled to off at his home for the weekend. So Mark and Lucy was a part of the Los Angeles chapter of the National Coalition for Men. And the force by many of the groups to lawsuits, and he was featured in the controversial documentary Ripple. And very, it's very funny how that thing was controversial. Like seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's controversial to, you know, be, be against feminism. Exactly. And these guys, are, these guys, in the sense that the MRAs are not even uh, against feminism, the, the ideology itself. They're against what they see as a corruption of the ideology. Because they also want equality or whatever. But they think that the feminism has turned against it or whatever. But they do believe in ideology. In the same way, I guess, that... Um, you have Trotskyists and Stalinists, and the Trotskyists felt we're not really against the whole system of ideology, but they felt that the Stalinists had betrayed it, had betrayed the revolution, or whatever. In the same way, the MRAs feel that the feminists have betrayed the revolution. So, yeah. Uh, so these guys are not even that uh, far off or anything, but so controversial, so controversial. Hmm? <laughs> the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office said deputies responded to reported PPU in Crestland on Saturday afternoon and found the 52 year old are in and suffering from apparent, you know, wounds. And it's pronounced off at the scene. Hmm. Pitiful. The vision is going in the chat also said the motive for the, you know, the blasting is unknown. Hmm. Who knows? I mean, maybe someone went after him? Yeah, okay, so they have their own law firm. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, at this point, the, the problem with the, the thing with the MRAs is that they have an advantage where they do they can work within the ideology, but it doesn't it doesn't work because the other because who really owns the ideology is the feminists. They don't, and you can't take it away from them. Anyways, the national question of men, which claims that women have more rights than men do, which is true, says and Lucy joined while he was in school in 1997 after witnessing a male friend's abuse by his wife. Yeah, that happens a lot, a lot. He then went on to sue better women's shelters to force them to take in men. Yeah, because equality, right? But the problem you, the, when you're fighting with the problem is you're fighting within the uh, other side's frame and uh, that doesn't work. Anyway, this, this you know this guy has done quite a bit, I guess. Matter was I believe a generous man living on a shoestring despite some personal health challenges, so he could donate many millions of dollars of his time to mostly voluntary voluntary legal work on behalf of men's rights and the genuine general quality that so badly needed in this country and this world, the group said in a statement after this, you know, off. So you, you can see how they, they still fall for the, they still uh, push the egalitarian line. And yeah, this guy, look, this guy did all this stuff, all this stuff he did. And where are we? Where are we now? Are we any closer to equality? Not really. So that's the thing, right? It's, it's a painful thing. It, it's a daily beast report. reported, and Lucy volunteered this time with a law firm launched by the coalition in 2018 to so solidify so men's rights to litigation. Last year, they won a major victory when a federal judge ruled that military's man only draft is unconstitutional. A decision under review by an appeals court. Well, um, I don't know. Uh, is it unconstitutional? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. But oh, yeah, it's, it's under decision by review by an appeals court. Of course, you're going to appeal it. Of course. 
course. What's happened now is we're getting more and more people offering to help. More and more people coming to us and finding us. People watch the repel coming to us and just said that. Well, I hope so, but I don't see that much movement among them, so. At least in the internet, they're yeah, so maybe they have moved to the real life because the internet not really that present. But yeah, you see this guy has done a lot of um you know I mean, even though they they might be working under a faulty principle, in the end they're still doing good job work. Because Hey, <laughs> equality is still better than what we have now. Like, the region is not so bad that li literal equality is still better. <laughs> so, you know, it's still, they're still pushing it towards that direction. So that's good. So the red pill, which premiered to a protest, yeah, because the other side is authoritarian, doesn't want any, you know, con any opposing opinions to be shown. It's, it's a 2016 documentary by self-proclaimed feminist strategy, self-proclaimed. No, I'm pretty sure she was a feminist. It just says she decided to distance herself. The critic said was only sympathetic to the men's right movement. Yeah, of course they don't want sympathetic. It said that you know, look, um, if you make a documentary that's always sympathetic to the feminist movement, are they gonna complain? No. So, yeah, they can complain what they want. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, it's just like oh, anytime you make a documentary attacking our, our opponents, you, you guys gotta make it horror. You gotta, it has to be a hit piece, otherwise we complain. That's that's what you're saying. You know, people who are like, you know, like oh, these freaking hit pieces, hit pieces. I mean, hit pieces. Well, there's a lot of people who are gonna complain if it's not a hit piece. So you know, that's a that's a world we're in. In a blog post, says she att he attended her wedding, and she last spoke to him on July first. Huh. Interesting. I thought Matt's you want people to make the repel. There's not very many I see. I thought I would 100% of the time. But I could always stand behind Matt 100% of the time. He said, he won so many cases that few will be willing to touch and few will be willing to do pro bono. But they did it because he was the right thing to do. Okay. The Southern Party Law Center has been critical of the National Coalition for Men's Efforts. Okay, let's see what the um, SPLC, which is a communist um, defamatory hate group, which is what it is, by the way. Um, we, we, let's see what, it, what, let's see what, it, what it's putting out. The, the reliable source, that's SPLC. Right, uh, ethnic groups are like uh, groups like a distort or cherry pick to indicate female privilege. Uh, no, feminists do that. <laughs> feminists do that. Okay, so the, the spell she is projecting now. Look, if, the, if 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 they said that, to the, also to, they said, you know what, feminists and this MRAs are doing this thing. I will be more like, okay, fine. But if you're gonna go and be like, oh, this distort and cherry pick statistics, but then uh, when feminists do exactly that, which they do a lot. Let's say the they do the 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 pay camp, for example is a ex perfect example of them cherry picking and you know distorting statistics. Then the, oh, has the see complain about that? No, so no, nah, sorry, we don't trust you at all. Blame women, blame women. Um, no, they they hold women responsible when when they should be responsible. Cause what is S P L C saying that only men should be blamed all the time, like? I'll create false equivalences between the depression of men and women. <laughs> false equivalences. So that means it's fine to oppress men. That's what that's what they're saying. They're, they're saying, well, it's fine to when men are getting oppressed, it's fine. But when women get so called -so oppressed, ooh, then it's a problem. That's what they're saying. It's fine to oppress men. Very very interesting take. Rather than simply seek to advance the cause of men and fathers. Um, what? What does it even mean? How does the SPLC, by the way? Okay, so how does the SPLC seek to advance the cause of men and fathers? How does it do that? At all. Uh, or, in a sense of, what do they mean with that? What does it even mean? What does it entail? Like... But it is very ambiguous stuff anyway, so... Who cares? And we know that SPLC is a, is a hate group anyway. It hates anyone who is not a, you know, a communist or... Any of the, of the, oh, the poor little groups here and there. You know, those poor, um, quote-unquote oppressed groups. You know, anyone who's not that, they hate. <laughs> Hate them big time too, like the MRA. They're hating on the MRAs for what? For what? Seriously? Because because it's, it, how how dare you go against? How dare you complain about men being oppressed? That's fine. It's fine them being oppressed because it's not equivalent. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Um. No. Come on. <sighs> Groups like L NSVM use litigation channels that are perceived as discrimination for women. In terms of influence policy, domestic violence, sexual assault, divorce, and custody cases, that's what he's added. Okay, yeah, they do that. In reality, they offer little help to men other than blame women or... Oh, wow. They offer little help to men. 
so fighting, so like helping men fight these freaking cases for them is little help to men, seriously. And then blaming women or what does blaming women mean? Does it mean that you cannot hold women responsible for anything? Because that's what it means. Sorry, Espel. See, if you if you want equality, they're gonna be they're gonna be held responsible for stuff. If you want equality, you have to be held responsible. If you don't, if you want to say, you know what? No, we don't want equality. Okay, then we can we can just decide to take it on the road. But you can't go and be like, oh, we want equality for women, but then we don't want them to hold be responsible for anything. Or ever can you deny women the structures that they didn't have to resort to discrimination and violence? No. Oh, uh, okay. What? So what they're saying is the women's privileges are there to protect them or or to like counterbalance discrimination and violence. That's that's what they're saying there. Effectively, the structures. Yeah, the structure. Yeah, the the structures. You mean the privileges they have? That are those the structures you mean? Yeah. Well, guess what? They being um, those are privileges. Those structures they have are privileges, and uh, you could use the excuse that well, they're they're tr they're trying to resort to because of discrimination or whatever. Uh, you're just saying that the privileges supposedly counterbalance that. Uh, I don't think there's much evidence for that, but anyway. But anyway, so, and the annoying thing is that, yeah, so this guy is fucking, he, he's getting blasted, now he's gone. And even after he's gone, these goddammit are still blasting with, b b b, -b my FBLZ, which is the most unreliable source imagine. I don't know, how, how can you take yourself seriously, by the way, and reference the FBLZ, like, seriously? Are, are you, are like, are you, that's like, like, what are you going to do next? Reference Pravda? Well, Pravda said this, therefore, it's right. Like, seriously, come on. Ridiculous. re freaking ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's that's what happened. And Okay, come on. That's what happened, and, uh, mm, yeah, that's, uh, I think, I'd say it's just still a blow for the MRAs, wh wherever they are, whatever the MRAs are doing. It's still a blow to them, you know? This guy's gone. Who knows what, what the hell happened? Uh, pro probably, who knows, he's probably been targeted, you know? Probably had a talk in his back, and now it's come. Especially if he was in California, yeah. I mean, California's a hot spot for this crap, so. Very likely that he was targeted. You know? And if that's the case, then. Probably gonna. If that's the case, he's probably gonna get. It's probably gonna be a cover up. I guarantee you. It's gonna be a cover up of some sort. <laughs> if he was targeted. Because um, imagine if they, they're like, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, he was targeted. They're like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> Ain't gonna show that. Oh no, you gotta reveal that. So yeah, that's why. Anyway, yeah, that is all to say about that, and see ya.